the track is changing colors like a rainbow. And look at those clouds up ahead. They're starting to rain. When the water drops in a cloud come together, they make even bigger drops. Drops that are so heavy, they fall out of the cloud as rain. Whoa! Whoa! Whew. All that rain is making the track super slippery. To catch up with the rotor, we've got to help Blaze steer around the puddles. Come on! Look for the color that doesn't have any puddles on it. Which color should we drive on? Red! Yeah! There are no puddles on red. Steer that way! Nice driving! Get ready! More puddles up ahead! To keep away from the puddles, which color should we drive on? Green! All right! Yeah! Now which color should we drive on? Orange! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! We're almost out of the rain! Which color should we drive on now? Blue! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Nice work helping me get past all those slippery puddles. <gasps> do you hear that, Blaze? I sure do. It sounds like the rotor. Come on, we gotta hurry. Swoops is counting on us. Race cars, rev it up! Why a cave would be shaped like a crocodile? Oh, I get it. It's because the cave is full of crocodiles. Uh, full of crocodiles? Uh oh, there's another crocodile up ahead. Chomp, chomp. Yikes! And there's not enough room to drive past him. Our only chance to get by is to go over him with centripetal force. See? This tunnel is shaped like a circle. And so long as we go fast enough, we can ride around the circle without falling. Come on, Stripes, follow me. <laughs> Centripetal force! Yeah! yeah! It worked! Uh-oh! More crocodiles up ahead! How many crocodiles are there? Three! Right! With centripetal force, we can loop around them. One, two, three! We made it! Uh-oh, we're not done yet. Now how many crocodiles are there? Four! One, two, three, four! at the end of the cave. But look, crocodiles are blocking the way out. Uh, how many are there? Five. It's centripetal force time. One, two, three, four, five. After a while, crocodile. Chomp, chomp. Uh oh! This red chicken's catching up! <laughs> Look! The red chicken's velocity is five. So to get away, we need our velocity to be more than five. I know! Let's make our velocity three! Hmm. Is three more than five? <laughs> no! That's not fast enough! We need more velocity! <laughs> Stop! Yeah! How about we speed up to seven? Let's see. Is seven more than five? Yes! Let's make our velocity seven. Right. <laughs> he can't pick us now! 
Oh, oh, look out! Oh, Here comes the blue chicken! He's even faster than the red one! He has more velocity! Yeah! <laughs> the blue chicken's velocity is eight, so we'd better speed up! Ooh! Zag want to go ten! Is ten more than eight? Yeah! Let's speed up to ten! <laughs> Bye, chicken! Phew! No chicken could possibly touch us now! Hubcaps! The green chicken's velocity is 14! Maybe we should increase our velocity to 11! Hmm. Is 11 more than 14? No! We're gonna have to speed up more than that! <laughs> hey, Blake! What if we go 20? Let's see. Is 20 more than 14? Yes! 20 will make our velocity more than the chickens! <laughs> so long, chickens! Hey, look down there! Pieces of the track are floating in that swamp! I bet if we find the right ones, we can use them to fix the track! To fix this first part, we need a piece that has a pointy shape on one side and a round shape on the other side. Which piece has a pointy shape on one side and a round shape on the other side? That piece, yeah! But how are we gonna get it out of the swamp? We can help. <laughs> it's smooth! It's Gabby! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. hey. We thought you guys might need a hand. One track piece coming up! Yeah! Come on, everybody! Now let's fix the next part of the track. It looks like we need a piece that has a round shape on one side and two points on the other side. Which piece has a round shape on one side and two points on the other side? That one, right! this last part, we need a piece that has two points on one side and one point on the other side. Which piece has two points on one side and one point on the other side? That one! Bring it up, Swoop! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! miles to go. Thanks, Gabby. Thanks, Swoops. You guys were a huge help. Aw, oh, don't mention it, please. Good luck getting to 100 miles. Let's check our velocity. With the wrench as our anchor, our velocity went down to this number. What number is this? Eight, right! But to stop, we need to get our velocity down to zero. Let's try something else. Ooh, what about frying pan? Yeah, let's test it and see if a frying pan makes a good anchor. Okie dokie! <laughs> Look, the frying pan's digging in even more than the wrench! It made our velocity go down to this number. What number is this? Five! Yeah! Our velocity went down, but we won't stop until we get to zero. Rawr. We need another anchor, something that'll dig in really deep. And we better find it fast, because we're heading straight for that waterfall! <laughs> hey guys, how about this for an anchor? A shovel! Yeah! 
I bet that'll really dig into the bottom. Double dig in deep! Check it out! It's making our velocity go down to this number! What number is this? Zero! Look! We're stopping! Yeah! yeah. 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 Right. Ooh! And wait till you see what's down there! It's the racetrack! Come on, follow me! Ah. <laughs> You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nickelodeon's Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week.